and the the elements that we crossed off when we were doing the reactions, those are called um, um, how well, I, the word they're not, I know what you're talking about. They're not like it's not satellite. It's something spectite. Like, spect yeah, that's right. Yeah, like, so like, just lost the word. So they're called spectator spectator. ions. So it's like they're just watching the chemistry take place. Yeah. So um, I guess like when there's any um, when you fill it out when you do the full equation the total what do they call it the total equation the total net equation where it's before you cross off everything right is it always um, the product like how do you is it when it's it depends on who's being who's doing what does that make sense so it's not like shit I'm trying to think of an example rather than just having like a solid being just a precipitate and just like one of the elements is just floating around or two of them but once if those two things actually bond and do something how do you oh, tell uh, which one is like if there's like two precipitates mm -hmm. is that what you're saying yeah that's a good question um it just all comes down to the solubility table so okay. it depends on what's in the in the flask that's reacting mm -hmm. um because some things when they bump into each other like we just we went through on those examples sometimes when um two things bump into each other, they're both um, soluble, and so they're not gonna form a bond. But then they might run into their exception to the rule that's floating in the solution, and that's the only thing that could make it become a precipitate. Does that make sense? It makes sense, yeah. So yeah, yeah all it, like, it just goes back to the table. Okay. So yeah, if, so if it looks like, well, this is kind of, you know, like a crazy combination, then the first thing you wanna do is put everything in its aqueous form if it can be, so that way you know what's floating around, mm -hmm. and then you can know what might bump into what. Okay. Does that make sense? Makes sense. So. All right. Cool. That was a really good question. Okay. Because like on the last steps we had this question where we had to balance it, and I forget what the whole purpose was. Uh -huh. but that was part of it, and a lot of us had trouble because there was, there wasn't a typo, but it was just something that was. Not as clear. Not as clear, and it just didn't make sense because we did all the rules that we knew what to, how to you know, go against it, but then we were just getting all these weird, funky answers, and uh -huh. no one could really figure it out. It was just like, just circle something, you know? Yeah. I, I couldn't tell you what it was or which one it was, but it was like, everyone just hated it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I get that now. I can have to memorize that. Yeah. And just having it out when you do the homework, like on Alex or anything like that, it'll mm -hmm. it'll come to you quick. Just when you're around it a lot. So.